Hey there! In today's video, we're going to show you how to get a film look in your iPhone photos. I'm going to take some shots with the Fuji X105, a popular digital camera that creates a film-like look in photography, and see if we can recreate them with the iPhone. In this video, we're going to be using three Sandmark products to achieve this look. The motion filter, the macro lenses, and the cloud diffusion filter. Because this Fuji camera uses film simulations, picture profiles based on analog color science from Fuji, we will make small edits to the raw iPhone shots we take to better match the Fuji shot. So, let's go! So what's great about the Fuji film camera is that it has a built-in ND filter in the lens, so it allows me to shoot even when it's bright and sunny outside, and it allows me to have a wide open aperture so I can achieve shallow depth of field, and then also better dynamic range when it comes to like the sky and the ocean um, when shooting. So when shooting on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I'm gonna use the motion ND filter, and I'm gonna put it on the clip like this and slip it right over the camera lens, making sure it's nice and secure. And with the filter, you're gonna get the same effects as with the Fuji film. Even when it's bright and sunny outside, you're gonna be able to get a separation between the sky and the ocean really nicely. And then you're also gonna be able to have a shallow depth of field um, so that your subject in front is separated from the background behind it. What's nice about this ND filter is it also will kind of boost the colors in your photo. So when we look at the before and after, if you look into the water, you can see there's a lot more greens and blues rather than without the lens attached. Next, I'm going to be comparing the Fuji film compared to the iPhone camera with the macro 25mm and macro 100mm attached. I want to see how both devices are able to capture close-up shots and see which one uh, is able to create a better macro image of the flowers. So as you can see, the Fuji film is kind of giving this nice, dreamy, but overall soft image of the flowers while the iPhone and the lenses are able to capture a lot of detail in their macro shots. So the last thing we're gonna compare is the low light capability and the film simulations versus the iPhone cloud diffusion filter. I really wanna get that classic film look in my photos in this night photography. So I'm gonna tweak my settings so both cameras are able to amplify the light sources and create that dreamy glowing effect in my photos. For the Fuji film, I can create more grain in the shot and also turn down the exposure so I can really get that nice glow in the neon lights and the other light sources. With the Sandmark cloud diffusion filter, um, it gives a really nice halo effect, mimicking the blurred, nostalgic quality of film cameras. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this video helped you see how you can turn your iPhone into a film camera with Sandmark lenses and filters. We'd love to see what you create with Sandmark gear to achieve this vintage, nostalgic look in your photography. If you have any questions, make sure you drop a comment in the section below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. As always, thanks for watching and happy shooting!